We've been in both sites, in Kornizor first, two nights, and then in Goris. Lots of, lots of people arriving. Um, there were a lot of things organized in, 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 in very well uh, way, but uh, there were also uh, people in panic situation, children who were unaccompanied, who passed border without adult, accompanying adult. There were, especially those who came via bus, there were lots and lots of helpless people. Um, Either families with small children who were pushed out from their villages a day before escalation started because of bombing uh, and because Azeris um, went into, into their villages so they start to kill children, to kill adult people. Elderly, so they run away, they escape uh, to Stepanagert, and they've been under the open area for two days already before they started their long journey. Some people were on their journey for 48 hours, some even more. Actually, those who came from Stepanagert uh, and those who, who were escaping after the bombing, for them, you can, it was obvious that they are suffering because of malnutrition for a long period. My colleagues and me were able, uh, uh, somehow, I don't know how, but somehow we were able to keep our energy and give some trust to, to people who arrived, just to hug them and say, you are now safe. Thanks God you were able to pass the border. So at least there is something positive. Your, your family is here, your, your children are here. So that was like all the time we had to continue this saying to people, everybody needed to, to hear something positive, that they are welcome, that they are in a place where they can feel more safe. And then organizational issues came, like where they should stay, how to manage. Some people couldn't go even to reception center for to register themselves. Some people who didn't have uh, uh, passports or any documents with them. So it took a lot of like uh, uh, organizational issues. This is why we were always like uh, intense and doing things without thinking even. I think one of best investments that FAR did during all these years, there are a lot of, lot of positive things that FAR did during these years, but for me, this is very special preparation, uh, um, helping specialists to become a, a social workers in, in Artsakh as a first generation of social workers. And especially it was done after war. And I think this was very right investment, investment in people. So we believe that we should continue First of all, to keep contact with them, which, which we are doing on an everyday uh, basis. Um, first of all, to keep contact with them, to recover somehow, to, be, to feel welcomed. Uh, second, we uh, count on them a lot. Um, we're going to, um, as people need a lot of psychosocial support, more than 100,000 people here, uh, displaced people, so the need is huge. We need uh, uh, hands, warm hands, um, caring hearts, and uh, thinking heads uh, with the same culture, with the same trauma, maybe, uh, to help others. So social workers will be uh, from Artsakh, um, will we'll, uh, pass some recovery, quick recovery process, uh, I hope, with our support. But later on, they will be supported to have their own uh, uh, place of active, to be active in helping process to others. Maybe priority uh, should be helping with uh, uh, placements to renovate, for example, left. Uh, out houses quickly to recover them and uh, give this to people and very important when if we can um, uh, take care of people from one village and have them in one uh, area to live together very important to keep these community networks 
it's so important that they can help each other, you know, sharing the same problem, etc.